All right, let's try this again. So this is my third attempt, I think, at recording this video. Um, this is my first unboxing. Um, this is from AliExpress. Um, I've had my eye on this line for a while. Um, I ordered it uh, from the Lao Zhiyong official store. It was ordered on June 11th. I received it on June 26th, so about two weeks. It is a 30 by 40 round with the pebble drills. And for those of you who know the store, um, you know that those pebble drills are um, like rhinestone or something like that. So it was a special order. It was $18.77. Um, I'm not sure how I did it, but I used some type of coins that they uh, offer in AliExpress. Um, and then the tax was $1.52. So uh, it came out to $19.91. So I'm going to unbox this. And um, for those of you who don't know, my mother died a few years ago. And her favorite color was green. And anytime you see me do anything with green or a lot of green in it, just know that it's probably, it probably has something to do uh, with my mother. So again, this is the image. I'm hoping that it's in frame. Let's unbox it. And I don't really worry about showing you my address because all of my uh, mail goes to a P.O. box. So for those of you who are like, stop showing your address. That's why. Um, so, let's open it. And I've recently started doing a lot of uh, rounds. Um, we'll see. I like squares and rounds. I'm not partial to either one of them at this point. Um, however, I will talk to you in a few other videos about uh, why I may be doing more um, diamond dots and art dot type of uh, paintings. Um, I'm just not finding what I want or what I think I should be finding. Um, out there as far as uh, art that I like or art that I will be putting up in my home and all of this artwork y'all I'll be putting up in my home so I have to make sure that it's stuff that I would put uh, in my home and so uh, yeah this I can't really tell what this is at all um, so here is the thumbnail that they rendered hope y'all can see that okay um, I can't see that at all um, as far as the painting is concerned, but I am going to do the painting. Um, it is a lot of black um, and a lot of greens, but it's not as many greens as I thought there would be, so I'm not really sure about this one. But we're going to try it anyway. Uh, let's look at the tool kit again, standard tool kit. Um, I'm not sure how I many. It looks like a fireplace, a couple of stacks of. Uh, 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 wax, that standard green tray, uh, plastic green, I'm sorry, plastic tweezers, and then a green uh, thingy. I like that. Let's look at these drills. And I'm trying to make these quick, y'all. I hate them when people drag their uh, videos on. And I won't be showing you all the drills all the time. Um, I don't really like sitting through this. The only reason I'm showing you these is because they are the rhinestone type drills. Um, of course, these are the infamous 310s. And then I've got all these different shades of green. Um, these are clear though, 414. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, 702, 701, 500s. You know where these turquoise came from, 3811 or ice blue or whatever that is. Um, 3799, 912, that looks more like turquoise. 844s and 154s. So what I do like about them though is that they do have DMC numbers and so um, I'm just not really impressed with this. Let me show you the one that I rendered. Hold on for a second.
So I used a program called Soul Art. Is it Soul Art Pro? No, that's not. Is it Stitch Art? Uh, I'll have to remember the name of it and I'll tell you what it is. Soul Art Easy or something like that. And that might not even be it. I have an embroidery business too and I confused this one with the one I use for diamond um for diamond paint. But anyway, um this is a rendering of the same uh image that I sent to them and uh, that's in square and of course you see it's smaller because that's the smallest paper that I could get that one's the same one in black and white because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it in black and white or whatever and then here's another one uh, in a lighter color and then another black and white so a little bit about uh, what's going on uh, as far as these are concerned is I'm trying to figure out, I was trying to figure out a way to be able to diamond paint images that I can relate to or images that I like. A lot of the images that I'm finding um, in all these places are not geared toward my taste and um, trying to be nice as nice as I can about that but just not my taste. So. Um, yeah, so that's what that's kind of what's what's going on. But anyway, um, I'll be doing this one um, just so I can see what it looks like and how the rhinestones look and all that. But again, it is a thirty by forty. I'm not sure if I said that. And again, this is the image. So but yeah, I'll get back to you guys about um, my taste and all that and what I'm looking for in a diamond painting. And you'll start to see that as my taste evolve or what have you, you'll start to see, um, you know, if, you know, kind of what I'm speaking of, and I'm sure some of you, I've heard a few of the diamond painting ladies uh, mention, mention it, um, and so I'll ease into it, I don't want to scare anybody off trying to build, uh, not really build, but just trying to find my niche and trying to find um, people who kind of understand, I'm not trying to offend anybody or anything, but just trying to find uh artwork that I can relate to and artwork that I can show in my home. So that's it for this video. Um, again, this is Why You So Envious and I'm, I diamond paint <laughs> uh, for therapy. Um, I had surgery a few days ago, so excuse my voice. Um, I, they found a lump on my throat and so they had to go in to make sure it wasn't cancerous and it was not. So, uh, But I still have the scar and I'm still recovering from that. So anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Y'all take care.